Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're gonna study adding mixed numbers with like fractional parts. This means that the fractional parts of the mixed numbers have the same denominator. They're the same kind of parts, which is of course the easier situation. And that's where you wanna start, of course, when you're learning or teaching how to add mixed numbers. Now, here's an easy problem first. And it has a visual model, these, these pies here. So it is very easy to add. Just add the whole number parts. 2 and 1 makes 3. And then look at the fractional parts. 1 sixth and 3 sixths makes a total of 4 sixths. There's nothing problematic about this problem. It is very easy. But now we go to the problem that will have a little bit of a problem, okay? You add 1 and 3 fourths and 1 and 3 fourths. And now what happens is that we have two whole pies, but if you put this fourth from here over here, you will get the third whole pie, right? So we have to write 3. This part here will go on here to fill a third whole pie, and then two fourths are left over. You could add just the whole number parts and get 2, then add the fractional parts and get 6 fourths, and then change it to this. And that's what we will be practicing, in fact. Here is another problem where I have left the pies empty so that the student can draw and use the pies as a visual model to help. Like this, two whole pies, color these, then 6 eighths. Okay, this needs divided into eighths which is easy, like that, then color 6 here, and then plus 7 eighths, divide this into eighths again, and color 7 of them, all but one, and what happens is two of these colored parts would go here to fill this in, so we would again get three whole pies, right? And then since two of these left went away, so to speak, then we will have here uh, five eighths. If we added just the whole number parts and the fractional parts, we would get two, and then six plus seven is thirteen eighths, like that. And that's a fine way to do it. Write it as 2 and 13 eighths, and then think about your 13 eighths. What happens to that? Well, that makes more than one pi, right? 8 eighths would give you one pi, and so there's going to be 5 eighths then left over, and we get one more pi, you know, the third pi. In fact, students can practice that process alone, without the addition, with these kind of exercises. For example, 7 sixths. You know, change it so that it doesn't have a fraction that is more than one whole pi. Seven sixths is more than one, because six sixths makes the one pi, and then there's one sixth left over. Now here we have one and seven sixths, which could be an answer to an addition problem. So the seven sixths, again, think that six of those sixths makes a one whole pi, and then there's one sixth left and so since here is one whole pie and another one made from those, so it's two whole pies and one sixth. Or here, we have two whole pies and eight fifths, but from here we can make another whole pie. Because the five fifths makes a whole pie, we get three whole pies now. And then we have three fifths left over. So students can practice this process separately if they need to. We can also add this way, vertically. It's kind of like adding in columns where you just simply add the fractional parts together and whole number parts together. You get 3 here, and then 5 and 3 gives you 8, and they are sixths. And now we can change this, just like they were practicing doing here. From the 8 sixths we get one whole pie, and then 2 sixths left over, so we, our whole pies increase, so we get 4 whole pies and 2 sixths. Here's another similar example. You can add the whole numbers first and fractional parts, there's 5 and 7 slices, and then they are ninths. Then we change this. This is an improper fraction, technically speaking. We change it 
From this we get one whole pi, the nine ninths makes one whole pi. And then three ninths are left over. So it increases to nine. Nine whole pi's. Another type of problem I like using a lot is missing addend problems. Okay? Because they always reinforce the connection between addition and subtraction and all also help students prepare for algebra. It's like there's an unknown here, you know, x, but it's just a left empty for now. Because after all, this is more like a um, fourth grade level math. Find the missing addend, then we have two, three fifths plus something makes four. I drew the four, four whole pies here for a student to help think, okay? They can color the two and three fifths. Divide this into fifths. Color three fifths. And so how much more needs colored to make the four would be, of course, this one whole pie here and these two fifths. Or they can practice the same without visual models. Three and two tenths plus something makes five and five tenths. This is an easy problem because you can basically think, okay, three plus what makes five? It would be two whole numbers, two whole pies. And then two tenths plus how many makes five tenths? Two tenths plus three tenths. This one works easily like that. Then here, seven whole pies and one ninth. And so how much more to add to that to make ten whole pies? Okay, we have seven pies and start of the eighth pie, right? So let's add two more whole pies. So now we have nine whole pies. And then we fill this in. It is ninths and one of them colored. So we need to add eight more ninths. And of course, after working with visual models, students can then practice with abstract problems more and more. Here's an example of adding three mixed numbers. And what happens is that, well, we, we can add the whole numbers first. Here's one, three, and two makes six. Here in the fractional parts, we have nine tenths, five tenths, and eight tenths. So we add all those tenths. Nine and five makes 14, and eight makes 22 tenths. And the student can write it right there, and then think about the conversion or changing it. These 22 tenths actually make two whole pies and some left over. So, 20 tenths would make two whole pies, and we get eight whole pies and two tenths left over. And these same addition problems, they can be written horizontally too. And we can work it this way. Let's add three and two, five and then add the two sevenths and eight sevenths to the ten sevenths. And then the student can continue writing that way or, or right under here, when they're changing this improper fraction. Uh, it gives us one more whole pi, and then three sevenths. Or here, one and seven are whole pies, and then eight elevenths and seven elevenths is fifteen elevenths. So, from the 15 elevenths, 11 elevenths makes a whole pie. So we define a whole pie. And then there's four elevenths left over. Okay. 